Hello friends, welcome back to my video. Before we start, just like last video, I've hidden three discount codes for our Black Friday sale randomly around the video. They get you a random discount, they're one-time use, so first come, first use. Also, I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but if you find them, don't comment them. Today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna be watching TikToks. Boo! Boo. Fuck you! TikTok has a strange place in my heart. I love the app. I think it's really fun, mainly because I miss Vine. I kind of got my start on YouTube from TikTok. They decided that they loved me for like a month, and now they've like completely banned me and are actively trying to get rid of me. But uh, yeah, since I'm not a 15-year-old girl that's half naked, the Chinese government doesn't like me and doesn't want to promote me on there anymore. So... We're gonna watch some of them. Reactionary videos like this, I'm not a huge fan of. I feel like they're lazy, but you guys just wanted some content in between my weekly videos, so I thought this might be an easy way to get that to you. And luckily, it's gonna be immediately demonetized, so. <laughs> Uh, this is pointless anyway. Shout out all the creators that made this shit. Some. Between place of millennials and uh, Gen Z. Relate a lot to the Gen Z humor, but I'm also cripplingly depressed. This is my voice, one day in Soviet Russia. This is my oh, voice yeah, four days in Soviet Russia. This is my voice three weeks in Soviet Russia. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, I love Russia. Apartment, but at least I don't have roommates, so I'm not too mad about it, Jack. Mm. Kate's chipped off my toilet, so this perpetually looks like there's a turd in there. Fucking oh, <laughs> mint. There's a window in my it's shower. It's a Jeff Goldblum right shower curtain. Head level, and it's not frosted. Ooh. Fucking mint. Sick. Whatever the fuck Ooh. that is. Fucking Ooh. mint. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, there's just chunks out of my baseboard. Ooh. Fucking <laughs> mint. Not one, but two types of parquet floors. Ooh. Fucking mint. Miniature stove that doesn't fit regular size baking sheets. Oh, that's the worst. <gasps> that's the worst. So Burn like the whole place down. Point, but um, my sink does this thing where if you hit its little nipple titty when the water is running, <laughs> sometimes it likes to just fucking power wash everything. So, uh. Shitty apartments are hilarious. When I first moved to LA, I moved into this like cracker box, like shit house apartment in West Hollywood. There was like five of us that lived in a one bedroom. It was so small and gross and in a terrible area and there was no AC. I slept on a mattress in the kitchen. During the hot months, I would lay underneath the fridge and keep the door open at night for AC. <laughs> oh, we made it boys. I'm in a cold ass garage. Two people complimented Molly's glasses. One of them gave her a free dessert. I'm wearing the same glasses. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh, it's too early to be mean. This is titled, How Amazon Delivery Drivers Deliver Their Packages. It hits home because I used to do Amazon delivery. They pay you like shit, it's awful, you're a slave to them. And the thing that was always terrible with delivering packages, people just don't put any information. They'll like live in a gated complex and like just not even think to put a gate code or anything. If you couldn't deliver a package, Amazon would make you like drive it back to the fucking warehouse. They didn't pay enough for anyone to actually do that. So this happens a lot. I would just chuck packages over gates and take pictures of it and I'm the worst, but it's Amazon's fault. Fuck Jeff Bezos. Hi, my name's Katie. How can I help you today? Uh, can I just get a large almond milk latte? Sure. Uh, can I have your name? Uh, Chloe? Is that with a C or a K? Uh, it's a C. All right. That's a beautiful name, by the way. Thank you. It's my grandmother's. <laughs> sure. And uh, I'll get that latte started for you, and it should be ready down at the end of the bar in, like, just a minute or so. So. Have a good day. <laughs> Hi, my <laughs> See, these are the gems. There's so many terrible, terrible little people on this app. That's why I don't delete it. See, some of y'all don't have as bougie of a bathroom as me. So you come in, you just turn the water on, and you just want to let it go down, but that doesn't work. And you know, you just come to the, the shower. You just gotta turn the shower on, right? So you just come here, pull that down, shower's on. Whip. <laughs> 
However, Cat pointed out that I'm often unaware of what I'm shaking on. For example, when I shook the neighbor's hand this morning, I have no clue what I agreed to. None. Cat says this is how the devil buys souls. I will pee on the bed for comfort. <laughs> this is from a really old YouTube video. I don't know if you guys remember it. That's the other cool thing about TikTok, I guess. You know, just the stealing that goes on on this app and then me stealing from that app on another platform that's based on stealing. I live in LA, I live in LA, I live in LA. I already hate this. So the other night before they announced the breakup, I ended up seeing Kylie Jenner, Tyga, and randomly Leonardo DiCaprio at the club. I live in LA. I hate this person. I live in LA. Even if they're I joking, I hate them. The first non-school related party I ever went to, I ended up meeting five seconds of summer and then ended up going to an after party at a fuckboy content house that lasted till 7 a.m. where Corey from Corey in the House asked me out on a date. I live in LA. I hate you. I live in LA. I live in LA. So a Dodger guy, like a Dodger player, is my neighbor. I accidentally dated a YouTuber I hate your voice. and Bella Thorne showed up at my sophomore year homecoming in high school. So this person right here is uh, actually the reason why I refuse to raise children in Los Angeles. Everything about that was awful. I've lived here for almost six years now and it has been the hardest uphill battle of my life. A lot of the conditions here are horrifying compared to the rest of the country and it's so expensive that it's disgusting. So yeah, just uh, absolutely Ooh. fuck. Uh, that person. So this is what I spend my money on. <laughs> <laughs> Not that bad, right? Oh no! <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> I literally just threw up a little bit. I just threw up a little bit of my bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. That's, it's nine in the morning. He's coming back. He hates us! <laughs> Do you not get that? He hates us and he's never coming back! Why are you crying? He's been telling us this whole time. I hate you. I'm not coming back. Oh, I'm still laughing at that chicken one. Okay, I know that this was different. I will definitely figure out this format. I just wanted to pick some TikToks that made me laugh. Maybe we'll make this uh, a thing, like a TikTok Tuesday. That sounds like hell to me. <laughs> We've got the uh, Black Friday sale coming up this weekend, starting on Friday. It'll last into Cyber Monday. There are two new items, the bleached hoodie and the inverted black manga tee. Some discounts and deals and everything. We'll talk about it on Friday, but I just wanted to let you know. I will see you guys Friday with another video where I make content. So <laughs> that wasn't this time, but I'll see you then. Uh, subscriber don't. Thanks. Uh, Brady, fuck.